Hello, I'm Alan Newman. I'm the editor of SciJourner.org. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the art of interviewing. As the SciJourn project has evolved, we've come to realize that the ability to ask good questions of a professional, whether that person is a health professional or someone selling you a computer, is a skill that students seldom get a chance to develop. So how do you begin an interview? The first step is preparation. Do the research on the topic that you're going to write about. Write down your questions. The best questions are open-ended questions that can't be answered with a simple yes or no. And don't ask questions that you should be able to find the answer to. You wouldn't want to waste the time of a doctor asking them what is renal cell cancer when you can find easily the answer to that on the internet. Once you have your questions written down, organize them in terms of the importance to your story. Look at how they're written. Can they be phrased in a better way? Can some questions be combined? Are some questions really part one and part two of the same question? Once you have your questions in good shape, you're ready to conduct the interview. There are three ways to conduct an interview, face-to-face, -face, by phone, or by email. Let's start with email. Nobody likes to answer 30 questions. In an email, you probably can ask four or five questions. So again, it's really important to pick out your most important questions, make sure that they're phrased well, and that they're written clearly. For the phone or face-to-face -face interview, it's probably a good idea to set up an appointment. Tell the professional you're going to need 30 or 45 minutes of their time. But don't be surprised if the interview goes longer. Most people love talking about their work. Start the phone interview or show up to the face-to-face -face interview on time. And if it's a face-to-face -face interview, be sure to look professional. Now, even for professional journalists, it's challenging to ask questions, record the answers, and listen carefully to those answers all at the same time. We recommend taking along something to record the conversation. Practice with the technology ahead of time. You would hate to spend 30 minutes interviewing somebody only to discover that there's nothing on the recorder because you forgot to press a button. Journalists have a couple of other tricks that they use. If someone is answering a question and stops, don't always jump in immediately with your next question. Let the silence hang there for a second. Sometimes that will bring out a little bit more from the person you're interviewing, and it may be useful information. Conversely, if the person starts rambling off on a topic that is not important to your story, stop them. Get them back on the topic. Remember, you only have a limited amount of time to get the answers you need for your story. And finally, journalists have a last question that they love to ask. You've heard all my questions. Is there anything else you want to add? Sometimes that can elicit some resp surprising responses. Now, clearly, this is a lot of sk different skills um, that students need to develop. It's probably a good idea to practice in the classroom before ever conducting an interview. But these are lifelong skills that will prove useful um, in dealing with many different issues.